Every driver has a story to tell. Of their first race. Their first race car. Drivers will talk about their victories, their losses, and their journey. Here is the starting point for racing dreams, where aspiring drivers begin forging their own legacy. For a select, devoted few, awaits not just the finish line, but the chance to become a racing legend. Welcome to Forza Motorsport. I'm here to help you achieve racing glory. Now this is where your journey starts. And trust me when I say it's going to be a hard-fought, hard-driving road to win the cup. It'll be a road full of choices you'll have to make. And here's the first one. Who are you? Indeed, who are we? Well, I'm Backlog Gaming Junkie. Thanks for joining me here today. This is Forza 7. I just got the game in. Uh, today's Thursday, October 5th. Yes, it's a couple days later than the official launch on Tuesday, October 3rd. But, you know, Amazon, I forgive you. I have my copy now, so it's all installed and ready. So, let's first make our choice. Who are we, male or female? Obviously, it's one or the other. Um, I am male, so I think I'm just going to go with the left. The male. The guy. That's me. Backlog Gaming Junkie. And let's get to racing, shall we? Time to pick out your first driver gear. You come across more as you race. Hey, that's pretty cool. That's a nice touch. You get to choose your outfit. So what we have here, what? The white Forza Motorsports outfit. Then we have a gray one. Yeah, looks alright. And oh wow, this purple get up here with the blue helmet. That's kind of cool. Let's look at him again. So we got back to the gray. Nah. Yeah. And the alpha gear, which is white. I will go. Let's do something crazy. Let's just go with the purple. Pro driver purple. That's who we are. And that's how we're going to start our game. That's our look. Let's just roll with it. Let's go. From here, you have a choice between starting your campaign for the Forza Drivers Cup jumping into multiplayer to race against drivers from all over the world, or exploring at your own pace. Alright, let's jump right into the Forza Driver Cup, which is the career mode, and that way we can get our career on the way. Let's go! The Forza Driver's Cup, the world's largest, most diverse, sanctioned motorsport series. For decades, it's drawn the racing world's best. To win, it will take speed, versatility, and adaptability. Spanning five continents and the world's most legendary circuits, only a few will climb to the top, where racing immortality awaits the winner. But first, step into the shoes of past winners and learn what it takes to win driving's top prize. Speed. The defining element of racing. Speed is more than the miracles of engineering and design. It is drivers who embrace the pursuit of going ever faster. Last season's cup winner, Michael Mueller, is one of those drivers. Known for bringing record-breaking cars to the track, he turned heads at the Dubai Invitational when he drove a car no one knew existed. Alright, this looks like this may be the tutorial, or at least this is where we take over uh, the vehicle of a Porsche. Alright, so right trigger for gas. Yep, okay, so wow, this looks really, really good. Control is fairly decent. I think, uh, yeah, we'll have to get used to uh, how this works. Again, since this is a tutorial, I don't believe 
that we have to come in a certain place, like in the top three, to move the story mode along. So we're just going to kind of casually just get around the corners, kind of get a feel for these curves. I don't recognize this track. Maybe it is a track that was in Forza 6, but I don't recall. So this feels like it's something new to me, so I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll uh, be playing or driving on this track quite often, I would imagine. Um, it's one of the, I believe I read 27 tracks that this game has this year. So we will see. So far, man, it's, um, I'm not able to pass too well here because there's just too many curves. And I'm, I'm not really reading the road very well. So, up, oh, man, I am just all over the place. That press Y to rewind option is constantly lit up because I just keep ramming into the sidewall. That was a nice touch, a little bit of uh, fireworks there. I like the, uh, the controller, how it vibrates when you go over different terrain. Like over those cobblestones and the brick, you can definitely feel the difference of the road. That's kind of nice. I think it did that in Forza 6 too. Right now it's a little bit hard to tell what's new for me and what's not since I didn't really uh, finish, you know, Forza 6. I think we only completed 18% of that game before we moved on to this game. So hopefully I'll get a little bit further uh, and, you know, enjoy the game to its fullest since we are playing it in launch week as opposed to last time when I got into Forza 6. It was near the end of, an, of its life cycle. So this is uh, really neat trying to compete and drive in this game with everything that's new and introduced to the game to Forza 7 and I get to experience it you know early on which is kind of nice. So since there are no places here, there's no first, second, or third, I believe it doesn't matter which place we end this race in because since it is the tutorial, I believe we can come in whatever place we want. Up, oh, and there it is. Yep, fifth place. And it looks like the race is over and complete. Versatility means becoming a master of any vehicle. To win the cup, drivers must be versatile, because they will not win with just one car, no matter how much speed they apply. At Magello, Maria Rossi earned the series points lead, and eventually the Forza Drivers' Cup itself, by having the skill to drive something as unconventional as a racing truck to victory. Wow, I had no idea that truck racing, semi-truck racing was even a thing. Wow, this looks really, really good. I like this. This is cool. I'm just not sure how to change the view to the external view. Whoops, nope, not that way. Oh well, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to leave it alone. Let's see if we can drive this thing. And, uh, wow, this, <laughs> the sounds and everything look really... With the right stick, you can turn left or right to look quickly to your right or left to see who's next to you. But uh, for now, I guess we're just going to drive in cockpit mode because I don't, I've just, I'm looking down at the controller, but I, I don't see a way how to change it. I, I forget how to do that. So let's just leave it alone, and I'm just going to try to wing it since, you know, the placement here does not matter. Again, it's a tutorial, so coming in first, second, third, whatever. Um, I just want to make it to the end, but this does look really fun. And these trucks are actually pretty fast. They look like they're really fast kind of vehicles. And, uh, oh, I see an opening. Oh, man. Okay, so he really rammed me. 
I mean, you know, uh, I, I think the sheer size of these trucks make it difficult to go, you know, two, three wide with another car, so, with another vehicle. So anyway, I think we'll, uh, I see an opening here, I'm just going to try to race as clean as I can without going in the grass. Okay, okay, I think I saved it. Yeah, so, man, those two up front are really kind of leaving me behind. Let's see if I can even catch them. Maybe in the corners again. Like, I seem to be going a little faster in the corners, but... Yeah, I see on the radar down there, I see where the finish is. A couple more bends and turns. I think I might be able to catch them. Actually, this is... Yep, I think I will if I can punch it right here. Punch it. Oh, here we go. And then maybe try to pass him on the inside. Nope, nope. Close that out. He closed out the hole there. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Punch it. All right, I'm in second. Oh, he tried to clip me from behind. Well, anyway, it looks like I might... No, I don't think I'm going to be able to get him. I think this is the last final corner, and we will be heading for the straight. Oh, here, I just got to punch it. Can I... Oh, I'm... Go, 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 go. Don't let off the gas. I let off the gas. Okay, that that was stupid. Well, we made it. We made it. Okay, that was cool. That was really fun. I, I want to do more of this kind of racing. Adaptability. Only the prepared will be able to cope with any change on the track. Cup legend Yukio Takagi is renowned for remaining focused, even during a downpour. To win the Forza Drivers' Cup, drivers must adapt, because speed and versatility are nothing when no two laps are the same. All right, looks like we're going to be doing uh, the third tutorial here in wet weather racing. Wow, this is, look at the rain. Look at those graphics. That looks really, really sweet. I wonder if on PC if it would look the same or even better, but hey, I can't really complain. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this on the standard Xbox One. This is not the, the Xbox One X or the, you know, the high-powered version. This is just and the Xbox. This looks really good. Wow. And it's very slippery. Oh, look, those guys went off the road. Let's see if I can stay on the road here. Just around the corner. Yeah, this is working out. This is working out pretty good. Let's get around the corner there and keep up with these guys without ramming anybody. I'm trying to keep it clean. I want to try to just go with the pack and not go too crazy. Okay, here, let's see if we can get an opening. There we go. Yeah, that was a good pass. Again, this is since this is the, uh, the third tutorial race of this style of, of racing, we don't need to place in first, second, or third. It's just a matter of finishing the race as a tutorial. All right, get out of my way, buddy. Let's go. Here we go, punch it. Oh, nope, 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 he's got the inside. Oh, he got the inside, okay. Yeah, I'll let him pass. And we'll see if we can find another opening up here. Yeah, the uh, the weather here, the weather on the road, the slickness, the, the sheer, it looks like glass. It looks like it's so slippery. And the weather raindrops on the screen look cool. Yeah, that's really, that's pretty awesome. I do uh, enjoy that look. I'm trying to look behind me quick. Yep, there we go. I like it that you don't have to hit the buttons anymore. You just hit the right stick. So whatever direction you want to look, it will look in that direction. Left, right, or down. 
down, of course, is behind you. Oh, uh, can I get it? I'm not gonna... Oh, the, the finish is right here. Let's go. Punch it. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Nope, this guy's too fast. Nah, I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, we made it to the end. And that, I think, marks the end of the tutorial. That was really cool. That was a good introduction. And second place. Yeah, whatever. Cool. Let's move on. Now you've seen what it takes to win. Speed, versatility, and adaptability. Now, it's up to you. You're about to take part in the premier contest in all of racing. The Forza Drivers' Cup draws only the best. Yeah, it'll be a challenge. But when you lift that trophy, everyone will know you're the world's greatest driver. So there you have it. This is the start of the actual career mode tutorial is done. There's three types of driving. This is really cool. I like the truck racing. Anyway, we'll catch you next time in the next episode of Forza Motorsport 7. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye, everybody.